Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss about subsidiary book. We know that what is the structured process of accounting. First we will record the transactions using journal. Then we will transfer this transaction to ledger account uh, for the classification. Then we will summarize the transactions using trail balance. And finally we will prepare the final accounts of an organization identify the profitability and the financial position of an organization. Before moving to the concept of subsidiary book, we have to think why companies are maintaining subsidiary book. That is because of the drawbacks of journal. So what is the drawback of journal? So if you see in an organization, maybe we have more than thousands of transactions. All these transactions we are recording to journal. From that finding out any particular transactions for any kind of verification it will be very difficult. So that is the reason now the most of the companies they are maintaining subsidiary book. Now we will see so what is subsidiary book. Subsidiary book it is the sub division of journal. Subsidiary books are books of original entry same way like journal. They are also known as day book or special journal. We record transactions of similar nature are in subsidiary book. Yes, that is the important point. We record transactions of similar nature are in subsidiary book. So what do you mean by transactions of similar nature? So that point will differentiate um, subsidiary book and journal. In journal, without any kind of classification, all the transactions we are directly recording to journal if it is anything related to payment if anything related to purchase or sales all the transactions we are recording in journal but in subsidiary book there is a difference in subsidiary book we will record only transaction having similar nature for example we have separate book for recording the sales of an organization we have separate book for purchase to record the purchase transactions we have separate book for uh, payments and receipts for that is known as cash book. So that's why subsidiary book means uh, in subsidiary book transactions will record but it should be in a similar nature. All the transactions having similar nature will recorded in one subsidiary book. So and the company will maintain the multiple subsidiary book based on the organizational co convenience. Okay, that is the simple concept of subsidiary book. Now we will see why subsidiary books are important or instead of journal, why the companies are maintaining subsidiary book. The first important thing is division of work. So what do you mean by division of work or how it will be an advantage uh, we'll think about a subsidiary book. So division of work means in subsidiary book, we are maintaining uh, separate uh, separate book for each kind of transactions. For we have for recording sales, we have sales book. For recording purchase, we have purchase book. And each book it is uh, maintained by one particular person. So like that, we can it is able to do division of work uh, using subsidiary book. And the next one we have quickly detection of errors. How can we detect errors very quickly? So using a subsidiary book. So that is another important advantage. Uh, why? Because in journal we are recording all the transaction and thousands of transaction will be there in a journal. But in subsidiary book we have all the transactions related to sales in a sales book. All the transactions related to purchase it will be there in purchase book. And all the transaction related to payments and receipt it will be there in cash book. Okay, so that's why so if, if we have any problems with any one of the transaction we, we can see that it is come under which category if it is a sales directly we can check the sales book if it is uh, problems with the purchase transaction we can go through the purchase book so like that we can easily uh, easily identify the errors uh, using subsidiary book so that is the second uh, one of the important for using subsidiary book and another one easy to access the detailed information relating to particular transactions. So if you see journal, uh, we don't have much information because we will just record the transaction and uh, supporting the transaction there will be a narration will be there. But if you see the subsidiary book, uh, there is a detailed information regarding each transaction. 
for example how with the quantity of the item what will be the per unit price from where we are purchasing so like that a detailed information will be recorded in subsidiary book so that's why uh, so uh, using subsidiary book it help us to identify the detailed information related to any one of the particular transaction and another one help to save the time how can we save time using subsidiary book for example if i am maintaining if i am a mlo in an organization if i am maintaining a uh, ledger uh, sorry maintaining journal okay so we have different uh, transactions are coming into picture so first i am recording uh, maybe a payment transaction then i am recording a sales transaction so then i am recording purchase transaction so different types of transaction we are recording and it won't be convenient for the employee but in subsidiary book if i am maintaining sales book i know that all the sales transactions only i am recording but i am not recording any kind of purchase transaction that is taken care of by some other employees so that's why it is very helpful to save the time uh, of an, a particular employee and uh, finally uh, we have one more point that is possibility of internal check so internal check it is a term it is something related to auditing so for example if i have done some kind of work it will be once again reviewed by some other uh, uh, employee in an organization for example i am a clerk i have done some work the same work it will be reviewed by some other clerk in the same organization that is internal check if i if i am uh, maintaining all the sales related transactions so other person can be easily i can do the review of that particular book but if it is a journal maybe first five transaction will be recorded by some other person and another five transaction will be some other employee and then we are it will be very difficult to identify which employee it is recorded that particular transaction but if it is a subsidiary book we are dividing the work a division of work is happening and we know that each book will be maintained by which person so through that internal check is possible so this is the some of the uh, importance or uh, importance of uh, subsidiary book this is the some of the reason company is maintaining subsidiary book okay thank you friends today we will wind up and next class uh, we will discuss uh, uh, about what are the different types of subsidiary book we have and what will be uh, the format of uh, all the subsidiary book so uh, uh, thank you so much